good, it's your boy TJ, welcome back to the channel, I hope everyone is good. This week we hit an insane trade, still holding TP3, but TP1, TP2 smash for 100, 200 pips in combine, 300 pips. If you're just 1% on each position, that's 15%, if not 7.5%. But, your boy has been smashing the markets and obviously a lot of people are passing their prop firm challenges, you've got the Forex funding, you've got MFF, you've got FTMO, E8 funding, they're all out there, you can check them out, but today I'm going to be sharing with you all what I know in how to pass these challenges from risk management, the R to R, but also staying composed with the psychology as well. And obviously all of my life experience with these challenges because I've failed them, I've passed them, I've failed, I've passed Sometimes it's hit a miss, you know, you can pass three out of four. You might fail two out of four. You might be failing all the time. I've got to a stage now where if I take like four or five, I will pretty much pass them 75% of the time, if not 100% of the time. But that's because you've got to use a strategy in order to complete all of the rules and all of that good stuff. If you guys want to check out my XAUSD group or the free trading group, link in the description. You can click on the TJ bot or join up on the Telegram. We're dropping a TJFX Shorts channel. It's already got 70 plus subscribers. Link in the description for that. And also TJFX Reacts. We are going to be uploading one every other day. So check it out. Links in the description. Subscribe with notifications turned on. We will be reacting to other Forex YouTubers in the industry. So that is quite a good one. When looking at passing Phase 1, FTMO, MFF, you name it, you can have TFF, they're all got it, they all have their own rules, but let's just say you have to get 10%. Let's just say you have to make 10%, it doesn't really matter, you know, 10% is actually a lot of money, man, like 10% is quite high percentage. If you guys are thinking that it's not, it really is, like low-key, for any trader to be hitting 10% every single month, is a great trader like if you've got a 200k account smashing 10 percent every month you're making twenty thousand dollars a month or twenty thousand pounds whatever currency you're in now if you just do it out for 12 months you're on 240 240 thousand dollars or pounds now that's insane so that's how hard these challenges actually are because if you were passing these 24 7 you would be over a six-figure trader like myself now all jokes aside it's difficult so you've got to just take a trading plan with this sort of thing first trade you can go in 0.5 percent or one percent but remember and this is where i would advise using small risk at the start just to get into profits because depending on the prop firm you could actually get a refund on the challenge or redo the challenge if you stay in profit now that's insane in itself because it's basically like You've got to be a really bad trader to be fading the accounts or have some really poor emotional or psychology. And that's pretty, like, the people that are failing these accounts and the reasons why I have actually failed these accounts, it's not because I'm a bad trader on the market. It's because my emotions get the best of me and I start, I start getting emotional trading, entering more, holding the SL over the stop line. So I'm just getting more and more drawdown. There's so many things that I do wrong personally as a trader when taking the challenges which have failed them. Now, at the start, you use a small risk, but when you're in profit, you can risk your profits. And the main thing is, it says minimum 10 trading days, but if you take 20 plus days, that's okay. Therefore, you don't have to be trading every day. It's up to you if you trade every day, but I just don't advise it. And that, that doesn't mean don't look at the charts, always look at the charts, keep making predictions, but stay out of the market. Now, if anything, trading is a bit like gambling, but it's calculated gambling because you believe in your analysis, you believe in yourself. So for example, if you keep going into the market, you're gonna just lose more than what you get. That's why risk to reward is a thing in trading because you've got to stay out of the markets predict where the market's going to go and then you've got to predict the right moment as a trader to go into that, into the market because you might have said yeah gold's going to sell to hit you know sell from 1818 to 1700s and it does but you might not enter that trade right away because that might be your prediction and then you might predict buys and it might not come in so therefore you've got to use 
good risk at the start, but also don't overdo it. And what I mean by that is, if your trade's up by 2%, take the 2%, don't be looking for the massive swing trades at the start. Build your profits. There'll be so many times when you're trading and everyone will experience this because the markets go up and down, but you'll be in profit and you don't take the 2% and then you hit a sell and you are gutted about the 2%. And that's, that's another side of trading you've got to work on with yourself about being hard on yourself and not taking here and here because you might have had a bigger prediction. However, when growing these challenges, you've got to take profit early on and start stacking it. Like I said, you don't have to be in the market 24 seven. If you take 2% a week in a month, you will basically be part, you get me? Like, you have to be smart about these decisions. You'll be looking to trade out of five trading days in a week. You'll be looking to trade at least twice, I would say. Minimum twice, because you need to get your trading days up as well. It's minimum 10. Highly advise, if the prop firm allow you to, use 0.01 lot size, just to get your trading days up on the non-trading days. Therefore, some prop firms allow this, some don't, so make sure to read the rules, however, if you do that, then you can easily get up your trading days. If not, then you have to be smart. Always moving SL to entry, managing that stop loss all, at all costs, and also sticking to 1% max risk. Don't enter in the same trade multiple pairs. Don't enter multiple positions, sorry, in the same trade. Just take it slow, enjoy yourself. Remember, it's a process. You might fail the first few, but you've got to keep trying because the rewards are so great. Like I said, if you start getting 10% a month on a 200k account, then you're making 240k within the year. And that's insane. Anyone can do this, you know, anyone can actually do this. So if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, upload into TJ main channel every other day, all Forex stuff. I made $45,000 in 24 hours. That's videos going live probably on like Friday or Saturday. But yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Much love and the support. Peace.